What's up guys? Tony here with Alternative Living Spaces, about to chop it up with my buddy Matt from Container Pools. Let's go check it out. What's up, Matt? What's up, Tony? How's it going, man? I'm doing great, man. Good. Welcome, welcome, great welcome. Good. Great to see you. <laughs> you as well. Again. How you guys been? Good. Doing great, man. Keeping busy? Ha absolutely, man. Well, that's cool. Glad to see you, man. I'm excited and to happy see. to do this. Yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys have been up to. Uh, all kinds of container pool stuff, huh? That's it. All that's right. That's it, man. All right. You guys want to go check it out? Absolutely. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Basically, what, what happens is when we get a container that comes in, so if you look behind us over there, we get high cube shipping containers that cool. come in and we cut them in half horizontally. Yep. And that gets us two pools. That's great, man. I love so, it. Are you guys using pretty much one trip containers for everything? We are. That's cool. Yep. That's great. Yeah, one trip containers and, um, and all high cube. And then they stage over in this area. Um, so once they arrive here and we cut them in half, this is where our welders will work at for the time being. Wow. Um, they'll get them cut in half and do all the support beams. And then once we get to that point, it'll move to this tent right over here. And that's our paint booth. Okay. That's awesome, man. How does it work? So you get a container, high cube container, you literally just cut it in half, huh? Exactly. Is that yeah. pretty hard to do? <laughs> it, it, it can be tricky. Yeah, yeah it can be tricky. The, the real tricky part is getting it flipped. And so uh, uh, getting it after you cut it and getting it flipped right. And so that's the tricky part. But um, cool. um, yeah. So. Okay. And this is, a, so this is an example of one that was recently cut. Exactly. Reinforced. So after you cut it structurally wise, so this is pretty much like a reinforcement you're putting all the way around it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so I equate this to like a red solo cup, how you have that brim going across it that gives it that support. Um, so that's more or less what this is. And okay. this is a two by six beam. We have another beam on the inside of here as well for support. Oh, okay. And then we go in with this one inch flat bar beam on the side and then have um, basically some gussets or some supports on the inside running up and down okay, uh, nice. just for some structure. And then just how this is structural, when you flip it over and use a top, is that also you're good to go. You can make that a pool. Absolutely. Same process. Yeah, same cool. process with the exception for we add some uh, wood on the floor of it just cool. to create the floor because it's exposed container. Gotcha. Um, and then we go in and we add some support to the bottom of it as well by adding some three quarter inch steel tubing okay. um, just to make it a little bit more rigid on the bottom. That's awesome. If, if y'all want to walk around, we can walk around here. To show you inside of one of our containers prior to it going into the paint booth. Okay. And. Um, and just so y'all can see, so what we do is we add some structural support to the fiberglass shell. So those are called saddles. Okay. Um, it just gives the fiberglass some an area to rest on cool. and protects against deflection and all of that. And then, like I mentioned before, this, this will be coated with resin. The walls will be painted and insulated. Okay, that's awesome, man. We keep the, the vents on the sides, but we remove all the hardware and then we strip the paint down oh. um, prior to us painting it. So yeah, we go in and we sand it down pretty, wow, pretty extensively. Really, I don't think I've seen this extensive of a prep job for a container paint job, which yeah. is cool. I mean, you guys are really probably trying to get a very high finish. Absolutely. Which is awesome. So you're literally like, looks like filling in holes, bondoing different things. Yep. And then when you said you're stripping the paint down, more, more or less sand, sanding, oh, okay. sanding, sanding the paint. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, cool. Yeah. Man, well, that's, that's great. Yeah, so w w our thought press process behind that is when you have water with chemicals that's being splashed out, we want to make sure that this container is protected as best as it can from yeah. rust and all of that. So, okay. I mean, it's a container. You're going to run into that down the road. Yeah. Um, however, um, that's the reason why we paint. So we paint the outside and we paint the inside as well. Okay. Um, and then this one has, this is actually a, bo a, a bottom half of the container. So it came with the floor already in it. Nice. And what we'll do is we'll coat that with a resin okay. um, just to add some waterproofing and just some protective mm -hmm. layer to that, to the wood. Love what you guys are doing. It's